time I have brewed an Equile clone. Yeah, that's right. So the idea was to do a Beavertown Necoil based off their ingredients on their website. I don't have all the ingredients. I've done this clone now twice before in my past and it's something that I've built upon and it's just like I needed to do it again. But this time I wanted to put it in cask and I wanted to see what it was going to be like with a big hoppy beer. And so... Yeah, this is the brew day and the tasting of that. So enjoy the video and I'll catch you after the footage and we'll talk about this beer. All right, cheers, see you soon, bye. see this beastie it's actually clearing up quite nicely now it's been quite hazy uh, yeah and it's something that's been on for a couple of weeks now in the keg or should I say cask kegel cask that I've got and it's yeah it's been conditioning quite nicely i think it's been getting better as it goes on and initially i didn't really enjoy it but yeah it's something that has improved with age first thing i want to do is give a big out shout out to malt miller malt miller totally customer service top notch my ss brutech fermenter the one of the well, you know, you get the half inch tri clamp top. I had a leak on the weld, which was totally strange, but yeah, it happened. So I got in touch with Rob and the team at Malt Miller, and they guys couldn't have been better enough. Uh, sent them a little video of the fault, and straight away they were like, yep, that shouldn't happen. And they got me a replacement, I think, within a week or two, basically. So massive shout out to the guys. So that's allowed me to continue with my brewing. Pretty rapid response, to be honest. Uh, top notch to the guys. So yeah, brilliant. Also, another shout out to the Hop Edition podcast. If you guys haven't checked it out, I was over with Chris on the Hop Edition and we did a video on electric brewing versus kind of gas. We both started off with gas and then it's about our journey moving towards electric brewing so we basically had a big chat on that throughout which was enjoyable highly enjoyable so there's that so go check out the hop edition as well 
And yeah, let's get into this beer. So it's, I've called it the neck oil, but I didn't have any Simcoe. Simcoe is one of the kind of key hops. So I used Centennial Galaxy and I subbed the Simcoe for Sabro. Totally different hops, but you know, sounds awesome. And Amarillo as well. So recipe was the, the 21 litre batch and my aiming for my original gravity was 1042, ended up 1046 because I ended up, I thought my efficiency, this was kind of early days of efficiency so I kind of th thought maybe 75% but I got 81% efficiency and so I got 1046 and a final gravity 1010 so yes, it's a 4.9% beer instead of 4.2 was my original, but my beers are now starting to come out on target now that I'm using the kind of eight, around about 80% efficiency. So we've got 3.6 kilos of Golden Promise, my favourite at the moment, we'll say. 350 grams of Carapils, and that was it. That's the malt bill. And then I've got was it 2.53 grams of gypsum, 2.23 grams of calcium chloride, and 1.76 Epsom salt. And my water additions, I think it says here two and a half mils of lactic acid as well. I used 10 grams of Centennial at 60, just to get a wee bit of, I like wee bit of alpha acids at the start of the boil. And then it was a whirlpool of Galaxy, Mosaic, Sabro and Amarillo, 15 grams each. Now I'm hearing that a lot of people are talking about hot side galaxy additions is not a good thing it's because of the beta acids in it are quite strong. So I think in future now I'll just try dry hopping with galaxy rather than put it in the whirlpool. Don't know if any of you guys do that, but yep. And what else, what else? Yes, dry hop. So 35 grams of galaxy, 35 grams of Amarillo, 30 grams of Mosaic, and 35 grams of Sabro. And I did the verdant method of put the hops in, leave it for 24 hours, then blast from the cone at the bottom with the CO2 attachment I've got on this, the yeast brink, blast that, get the hops back into suspension, and then as soon as I blast it, cold crash, two days later, rack into fermenter. So yeah, that was that and I mashed at 68 degrees and then I mashed out at 76. Fermented at 19, upped it to 21 degrees when I hit around about 10, 20 and then a 14 degree C dry hop temperature. And then cold crash till about five degrees and that was it. Then I've whacked it into the cask keg and we now have this beer here, so. He'd disappeared a little bit. There's still head sticking about, but yeah, the aroma. Again, I think the Amarillo, and Amarillo seems to give real tangerine, doesn't it? So definitely has that Amarillo, but then the mosaics there as well. You know how you get that kind of sweaty mosaic thing going? And then a bit of tropical on the nose as well, maybe from the Sabro Galaxy. So let's go in. My mouth's awfully dry. I'm like, I need a drink. Right, let's go for it. Oh. I'll tell you what, this is the best this has been tasting so far. This beer, I think, I didn't talk about the, the yeast. Yeast was US05. Now, I don't know if you guys ever noticed with US05, it gives a kind of, it's like a dry, powdery thing at the back of the throat, and it takes a little bit to drop out, but it's dropped out now, it's conditioned, so that's probably about right, maybe a couple of weeks or so, three weeks maybe. Yeah. It's interesting with a kind of beer like this, so hot forward on cask. I'm not sure if it works to its best. I think this would be better on draft with some carbonic kind of bite to it as well. Just giving it that kind of a little bit more crispy finish. The 
it's still nice, but I think the the hand pull definitely should, suits more traditional type beers. Yeah, I would say so. It's I do see a lot of bars though that have good hoppy beers on cask. See, that's nah. It's got more of a because that carbonation's not there. It's got more of a kind of jammy thing going on, more towards like how you would how you'd find an oxidised beer, but it's not oxidised. It's still super. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it's still super golden. So, but it just it just needs that wee oomph. Whereas I found like the Beast of the Midlands Mild on this just went it sunk down so well because it was so smooth. So yeah. The next beer I've, I'm going to put on this is a, is a Fuggles and East Kent Goldens beer that I've used to uh, grow my own hops. This could do with the Simcoe, I think. The Simcoe would be a nice addition to this. I think the Galaxy is okay. Sabro's not doing it. I don't really notice the Sabro as much. I may be giving the kind of creamy thing at the end, the creamy hop thing. That it normally does, so it may be there, but it's it's all right. It's not great. It's not polished. This beer. It's as you do when you when you make your your own recipes. It needs it needs work. Now I've brewed this before. That was much better. The V two was much better, and I would probably go back to that. That was a beer that yeah went down really well and I think it, it, I shared it out with a couple of people and they brewed it really liked it. Someone sent it to Harry as well at Harrison's Brewery. He liked it and then he ended up using that for the base of his proof of concept. So he's obviously found something good with that. I don't think I've went in the right direction with this with the uh, yeah with that that change that I've done. So I'll probably, if I'm going to do this again, then I would go back to the V2 recipe, which had them in, I think it was a 10 minute at the end of the boil. There was hops going in, but it was, I'm sure it was Simcoe and all that as well. So, yeah. It's okay. I'll drink it, but definitely could do better. And I think the hand pull definitely needs more traditional type beers on it as well rather than pure hoppy beasts like this thing i think this would suit much better on my draft for me okay guys that thanks for watching this video that's us just past the 400 subs which is crazy i hope you guys are enjoying the videos and i'm enjoying making them just now so hey hey i'm getting to drink lots of beer which is good uh, i'm not an alcoholic yet so happy days uh and I'll catch you later. See you. Bye.